Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today let's analyze Apple. It's been a while since I don't do a video analysis on Apple, but uh, we have been nailing Apple's movements with astonishing precision since my previous video analysis on Apple on May 23. It did exactly as we expected. We did a pullback to 137 just to bounce back up and hit our target around 149 150 dollars over here since then we dropped sharply and i did an analysis on june 23 i believe on tradingview if you don't follow me on tradingview follow me over here for written analysis i have almost 10,000 followers on tradingview wow that's a lot and uh, my previous analysis written analysis on apple Apple was over here around 137, trading below this red line, and that was crystal clear to you guys. I think if we break this red line, Apple could trigger the next bullish movement to fill the previous gap at 142. Well, since my previous analysis over here, Apple did break the 137, we continued the bullish momentum, and we filled this gap over here. Okay? Target hit, and Keep in mind, this point is a crystal clear resistance level for Apple. And this is why it is totally normal to see this bearish candlestick today. Okay, we just filled this gap. We are slightly above the EMA, which is quite good. But this is the first bearish candlestick since Apple started its bullish momentum on June 17 over here. So we just hit the resistance. We are doing a top sign. Okay that's just fine is the momentum reversing no the momentum is not reversing the trend is still clearly bullish why because apple is still doing higher highs higher lows however is it the time to buy no now is not the time to buy the time to buy was during the breakout or pref preferably at lower levels down here okay right now it's not the time to buy but apple could offer another opportunity to buy if we do a very good bullish reaction above a crystal clear support level namely the 21 ima or even the 137 so apple could drop at least to the 137 and the bullish momentum would still be intact okay let's do some fibonacci over here on apple i think 137 is roughly between the 38.2 and the 50% Fibonacci retracement. So, okay, as far as I know, Apple could easily drop to one of these support levels just to do a bullish structure and reverse the bullish uh, and reverse this bear trend. However, we should keep in mind in the daily chart, unfortunately, it is still a bear market. Okay, the, unlike the one hour chart, which is clearly bullish higher highs higher lows the daily chart is still not what i prefer to see happening on apple guys i prefer to see a pullback okay i prefer to see a pullback because a pullback could trigger a clearer structure on apple that could trigger a bullish pivot point okay apple must do higher highs higher lows in the daily chart we don't see higher highs, higher lows since, I don't know, uh, since before 2022 over here, okay? So Apple deserves to do bullish structure. We don't see crystal clear bullish pivot points since January 2022. That's a shame. Apple is clearly in a bear market. But if Apple drops just to do a bullish candlestick pattern, could be any, any bullish pattern over here, okay? I would be very happy and optimistic on Apple and I would be more convinced about a crystal clear bullish reversal structure on it. And uh, if Apple actually triggers a bullish structure, it could easily break the 151, the previous resistance over here. Keep in mind, long term speaking, long term speaking, Apple is kind of doing what could be what could be a possible double bottom chart pattern okay that's a very powerful chart pattern 
reversal chart pattern and it has a crystal clear technical target at 179 okay i like last week's reaction it was a very strong one plus 7.68 percent that's quite good but usually after strong movements like this we see some pullback okay so naturally i do expect a bearish week this week okay i'm not counting on a bullish week right now but uh i do believe apple is supposed to turn bullish in the next few weeks but not in the next few days okay so in the in the weekly chart apple has the 21 ema as a resistance and i do believe we're gonna retest there but uh in the daily chart we are just under resistances over here we just hit our technical target we are doing a top sign so i'm not that convinced that you're gonna see a very nice upside movement from here either way what could prove me wrong if apple breaks 142 right now before uh we lose before we lose the 21 ema in the one hour chart okay so this is the configuration if we drop at least to the ema over here and react and break the 142 okay Apple is not going to do any pullback. So, key points. 142. If we break it, we will probably resume the bullish momentum. The 21 IMA in the 1-hour chart. If we lose the IMA, we are going to trigger a sharper pullback to 137, probably. If we react around 137, Apple has decent chances of reversing the trend in the mid-term, doing a bullish pivot point in the daily chart. What if we lose 137? Then Apple is just going to resume the bear trend in the daily chart and it's going to seek the 130s down here again. So this is the map for us. I think we should use this logic to guide us over here on Apple. Usually we nail nice movements on Apple. So let's see if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if Apple is gonna prove us right or wrong right now. If, either way, I will keep you guys updated. So remember subscribe to this channel i mean are you still watching this video and you didn't click on the subscribe button or on the like button right now what the hell are you waiting for probably you like it the content you didn't waste your time over here so seriously click on the like button right now and subscribe to keep in touch with my daily insights i'm here every single day to update you guys on many stocks including apple tesla nvidia neo and much more thank you very much for watching this video stay safe Farewell.